Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial for the new Boston. Now in this video I'm going to be briefly explaining and demonstrating the uh, pREG match function. Now the pREG match function looks like this and what it is is it takes um, it takes uh, expression matching uh, and lets us do this. So what is expression matching? Well it's basically matching patterns inside um, of a string. So we could say, um, we could use this function to check if a, if a string exists inside of a string, but we can also take on uh, more complex um, patterns and check for these inside of strings. So I'm not gonna be demonstrating some of the more complex patterns because um, with the amount of different um, expressions that you can use uh, to check for patterns, we would literally be here for hours uh, because there's lots and lots of different ways you can check. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating an example of just checking for a string inside of a string. So let's go ahead and create uh, our string data. And this is going to be equal to this is a string. Now what we want to do is we want to check to see if we find a match inside of this string. Now what the p pReg uh, match function will not do is tell you where the match is. It will just show you, um, it will just return a one or a zero depending on if there's a match. So what we can do is we can put this into an if statement and the condition will either return one or zero which is going to be the function itself. Therefore if uh, it equals one then we have found a match. If it equals zero then we haven't found a match. So let's go ahead and create our if statement and let's also create our, our else as well. So we've created an if else statement. Now what we want to do is inside the condition area we want to uh, give the function so preg match and then brackets. So in here we're going to take we're going to take two parameters. The uh, function itself takes three parameters I think, but we're just going to be giving it two. So essentially what we're going to be doing is searching for a string inside of this string up here that we've predefined. So let's say we chose the word is. We want to see if there's an is in here. Um, we could also do it with simply something like is there any spaces in this um, in this string. So we'll uh, go for both examples and we'll demonstrate this uh, twice. So the first um, parameter um, is the uh, expression, the, uh, the pattern that you want to match for. And the second parameter is the string itself, so the string data. And this can either be supplied in using a variable or you can add your plain text in here. Ooh, plain text, plain text in here. Okay, so we're gonna be feeding in string, that's there. And um, we're gonna be searching for um, a particular word. So the simplest way that you could possibly do this is two forward slashes and then in the middle of these two forward slashes uh, is the word that you're searching for. So this just it, this is just basically meaning uh, as this is. So uh, we're searching for is uh, inside this string. That's essentially what we're doing with these two forward slashes here contained um, containing this is. So if our um, if this returns one, that's going to mean that it is found, which at the moment we know that it is going to be. So in here we can echo out uh, match found. And in else what we can do is echo out no match found if we can't find a match. So let's go ahead and open up our browser and test this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to refresh the page and see what we get up. So it now says match found. We knew that it would do that because we know that the word is is contained within a string uh, or within this string. So now let's just simply put a space to see if it will return match found. Okay, so it's saying match found. So what we could do is we could have a function that would check, for example, for, for um, uh, a space in a program, or sorry, in a string. Um, and we'll do that a bit later when I've explained a bit more about this uh, function. Now what happens if we don't know what this string is? We might want to search for a specific pattern uh, inside of a string and when we don't know, um, we don't know how the string is formed or what we're feeding in. So we're just double checking something. 